Land Rover Range Rover Review. What is it? The Range Rover is one of those vanishingly rare cars that defies the industry's traditional product cycle. The current model arrived in 2012 and even in these unpredictable times it's still hitting the spot with its high-end client base. But then you see the new one, only the fifth generation in 51 years, and you realize that there are some things even the Range Rover can't outrun forever. Namely, the march of technology and connectivity, and more pressingly the need to future-proof it as climate change ceases to be a debate and becomes a genuine existential emergency. This is an all-new car in every aspect with a critical reappraisal of its place in the world. Key here are two plug-in hybrids, badged P440e and P510e, that equates to a 434 and 503 brake horsepower power output respectively. These combined Land Rover's 3.0-liter six-cylinder petrol engine with a 105 kW battery feeding an electric motor with a usable capacity of 31.8 kWh to deliver up to 62 miles of pure electric driving with CO2 emissions around 30 g km. We'd say 50 miles in the real world is more plausible. Land Rover reckons that typical Range Rover customers will be able to complete 75% of their journeys without ever bothering the internal combustion engine. Not quite a get-out-of-jail-free card, but a big improvement. Advertisement page continues below. Unfortunately, we won't be driving the FEVs for another six months. So it is that the all-new Range Rover arrives powered by a pair of diesels, making 296 brake horsepower and 345 brake horsepower respectively, and two petrols, good for 395 brake horsepower and a 523 brake horsepower and 553 torques. The latter is a twin-turbo petrol V8, sourced from BMW, whose intake has been reconfigured to enable a 900mm weighting depth, plus a few other robust mods. Seriously, has anyone ever taken their Range Rover into a chuffing river? A fully electric model, meanwhile, will arrive in 2024. That's even less likely to go swimming up the Severn. What's new? Everything. The outgoing car remains such an archetype that the scale of the challenge here is substantial. Not that you'd ever get even a whiff of self-doubt from the company's chief creative officer, the formidable, and gleefully opinionated, Jerry McGovern. He doesn't wait in water, he walks on it. There are five fundamental visual pillars on the Range Rover, the falling roofline, pronounced waistline, the rising sill, clamshell bonnet and floating roof. They've all been reimagined here, although you need to see new and old side by side to grasp just how ingeniously nuanced the changes are. The panel gaps and shut lines are fabulously tight, and the flush glazing abuts the body sides in memorable fashion. The rain guttering is hidden, too. Design pushed engineering, and vice versa, and the result is as much an ode to metal beating and manufacturing technique as it is aesthetics. This is a car that will be at its imperious best sweeping along the motorway like an automotive superyacht. The car's rear end taps into that idea and is the area of the car that's most obviously different. Check out the vertical taillights and the way the whole thing resolves. It's also notably aerodynamic for a big SUV with a drag coefficient of 0.30 and a smoother frontal area. Americans might spot shades of Kia's impressive but not for Europe Telluride but that's no bad thing. It's a great-looking car, that. Land Rover says it has taken out 125 patents for the new car and carried out a rigorous development program that encompassed 140,000 hours of computational analysis. It's also connected up the wazoo, has a sophisticated air filtration system, active noise cancellation tech in its headrests, and standard and long wheelbase iterations are available, with the option of seven seats for the first time none of which are cheap. It's also important to distinguish between the regular trim levels, SE, HSE and autobiography, and the SB opportunities. That's a whole different ballgame, offering curated luxury in the form of serenity or intrepid packages. While prices for the Range Rover start at £99,375, the fully loaded SV long wheelbase with the signature pack, that's the one you need a chauffeur to fully enjoy, is £203,000, plus the afford-